What's up geeks and gamers? My name is Draymond and welcome to Thorium Gaming. We're back with episode 41 of Freezer to Fallout, our adventures in the post-apocalyptic Boston wasteland. Now before we get into what we're up to this week, a couple of things that I have to put out there. First off, to all my Canadian listeners out there, I hope you guys had a great Canada Day. It was raining all day here, but we still had our fireworks, which was great, so I hope it went a lot better for you. And for those of you who are American and otherwhere, there were? Is that even a word? I don't know. I hope you guys have a happy 4th of July, or whatever celebration is for your country that's out there. I gotta admit, I'm a little bit ignorant on the rest of them. The other small thing that's going out there is Ari Monius, one of my longtime real-world friends. Actually, one of my best friends. Kind of like a brother that I never asked for. But I've called his mother mom for years and years and years, and he's called my mom mom. Essentially, he's just a brother that doesn't share any biology with me. His birthday is as of release for this video, so happy birthday, buddy. And hopefully it goes all well and good. I know you're headed out of town for that day, so try not to work too hard and have a little bit of fun. I don't know exactly how that's going to happen, but... It's, well, you're a workaholic. Anyway, so last time we were trying to get the hallucinogen substance for our vault because we're trying to finish off the automatron dlc while we're out here and why we have to unlock our own door so in the intermediate time i went back and upgraded our assault rifle a little bit which you can obviously see here better sight better barrel silencer far larger magazine which is probably just more temptation for me to get into trouble but let's Face it, if I was not getting into trouble, it's not really me doing my thing. So we're going to head over to the Hallucinogen building. We went to Hangman's Alley afterwards because it's a little bit closer and gives us a better approach. Now, down along this wharf section, there's usually some raiders or the odd super mutant group. It's not exactly the safest place in the world, let's just say that. So you can hear the clicking in the background, that's me mashing the VATS key and hoping, beyond hope, that we do not get ambushed. But it's entirely possible. We still have Kate with us, and we're going to push into the hallucinogen building and try to get what we need. Of course, I'm terrible at keeping straight where I am in the world, so I'm going to be using the map a fair bit this time. It only really happens when I'm in downtown or the highly urbanized... Urbanalized? Is that even a word? Sections of Boston. Now, we've been past the hallucinogen building once already. We decided to skip it, because we knew we were going to come back to it. Did disable a couple of landmines out front, which helped. Well, it's going to help us now, anyway. Because we're going to be going inside of it. Oop, that is the wrong button. I wanted to drop down. There are some raiders in there, apparently. Well, I guess we're going to start off with a bang, or several. I got one of them at least. Oh, I was. There's still more in there. far quicker reloads on the assault rifle now. Just gotta find a way into this building. A little distraction now and then doesn't hurt. Well, it can, given that there's... I 
think we've actually cleared this place out once before, but can't be entirely sure. Alright, well, that went generally okay. Pipe revolver pistols. Let's see what other neat little goodies we can get from in here. Because there is a chain door right here. Now we'll open back up to the street that we were on. And just for the whole Skyrim tie-in, we're going to take that sweet roll. Because why not? But we don't actually want to go into the bar right now. We want to get over to the hallucinogen building, which I believe is this one that's glowing out front here. Alright. And a danger symbol from the railroad. Not a good thing, but not necessarily a bad thing. But in we go. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Ooh, that kind of stung. Looks like everybody's going crazy in here. And. Kate's having some fun. These guys are all going nuts. Not liking the fact that there's this glowy gas everywhere. I'm gonna find a way off this first floor. Hold up. Did you hear that? I guess we're going down in here. Definitely did not go right here. Don't know exactly what went wrong. But the gunners seem to be tearing themselves apart. That was a legendary gunner. That's just a regular gunner. Where's the legendary gunner? I just sworn I saw a legendary out here. There it is. Repeat. So duelist's right arm. Has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Kind of concerned that this chemical leak might uh, be affecting us. But until we start actually taking damage or something bad goes on, I think we're going to be okay. Hoping we're going to be okay anyway. Yeah. Hey, energy weapons do 5% more critical damage. So if you're an energy weapon user, definitely worth coming in here and picking that up. I'm gonna be jumping at the goddamn shadows next. Bunch of secure drones in here. I don't know if they're activated by a terminal in this case, or if it's Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Switch activated. It looks like these gunners are going hog wild killing one another though. Alright. Just gotta figure out how to get down there. I probably jumped down the wrong side when we went through there. Again, not unusual. I tend to do that sort of stuff a lot. But exploration is part of the fun.
And with them shooting one another, it's a good way to pick up some easy, cheap ammo and some laser weapons, I guess. Please, evacuate the building. I don't know exactly where we're supposed to go, though. I think this place was designed to test out a whole bunch of hallucinogenic drugs as peacekeeping ideals. And given what the gunners down here are saying, it seems rather logical. But let's check back up here really quick, because I feel like we're missing something. Supposed to be a testing floor up here, I think. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Okay, so we uh, killed him from the ground floor. Can't go up that way. Gunners are really tearing into one another. And I have no idea where Kate disappeared to. She's apparently still around and I accidentally picked up, I think, some... Yeah, a leather chess piece. We're just gonna drop that. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Hmm. Welcome to the Hallucigen Labs Observation Area. Hallucigen's Eradicator provides your forces with Invisiway from Hallucigen. Criminal scum? Don't get Ah, yes, they were taste testing. Tasting? Hallucigen. Bunch of different uh, anti riot options. Essentially, all these companies were just trying to build some really, really Repeat. unfortunate has been detected. Please evacuate crowd control products. And we did level up. Kind of curious of what we should do there. And while that was a little bit cold, he's too far gone. At least that's my excuse. That's it. Actually, I think while we're in here, let's go and level up. So we could get some more damage resistance. Another rank of cap collector, medic. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Hmm. Tempted to put our companion up a little bit. We could get the armor rank four. We already have rank four gun nut and rank 4 scientists, so why not? Let's grab that, and now we can have all of the weapon and armor mods that are out there. And of course, Kate doesn't want to be around, apparently.
There was a ton of gunners sent in here. Has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. We'll be able to hack this. Okay, so apparently we can't hack that door. I guess we gotta find a key card. Yes. Master password reset. That might do it. Okay, I guess it was that easy. Let's go this way first. I don't feel like going down an irradiated tunnel full of glowing green gas. I got rid of some of our radiation too. Not bad. While we're here, we'll just pick up the extra experience for unlocking the door. If I can actually pick the lock, you know, that would be great. That's a gunner commander. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Who apparently had a stealth boy. Now we need to wait for Kate to catch up to us. About time. Hey. So we can give you some combat armor. Not weapons, per se. Well, we can give you a laser pistol. And... A bunch of our other stuff. Alright, so I guess those are all the development notes for all the experiments we went through. Some buff out and some psycho. Has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Nuka Cola Quantum. That definitely doesn't hurt. But we're after the hallucinogen canister. So I guess that's all our good doctor needed of course these are the uh, pillars of the community over here something we could go through eventually but I don't really feel like fighting them right now kind of a little bit of a bad thing so now we need to get back down to our vault thankfully you guys don't have to deal with load times Alright, so now I think we just need to find the Overseer. My mouse hand is still trying to use controls for a completely different game, but all it's going to do here is switch our weapons. I have those chemical formulas for you. Marvelous. Now we can reform another societal picadillo. The hydration break. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain. It's a menace. Vault-Tech scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency. But people feel an irrational need to socialize. So if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good. With chemistry. That doesn't seem creepy at all. Aren't chemicals bad for you? Oh, Clem, you worry so much, my boy. 
Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals, don't you know? Oh, <laughs> right. That's very interesting, Lady Overseer. These are just special chemicals. Well, what type of chemicals are these? What type of chemicals are we talking about? Well, that's up to you. But from what I've read, the R&D folks really outdid themselves. Well, I guess we should tell Clem to trust us. It's okay. You can trust us, Clem. Indeed. After all, we're with Voltec. <laughs> so build the soda fountain, and then... Serve refreshments to our residents. And Clem, if you get thirsty on the job, feel free to have a cool, refreshing beverage. Gee, thanks. Anything I can do to help out around here? Enormous potential. Uh, not right now, no. Not right now. Thanks. All right, then. But our vault is bringing in new people, which means we're going to eventually need to up our game. And I just hit Q and then the wrong button again. So what I need to do is go in here and go to our special to the soda fountain, which of course is going to get moved at some point. And we're going to put it just inside the door. Why not? I don't think it really matters right now, considering at some point or another we'll come back and make this place look all nice. That's not going to work overtly well. Uh, power. That's what we're looking for. Connectors and switches. Put a nice little wall switch up there. And then i got to remember, I think it's under miscellaneous. It is indeed. This isn't how I would do it for a full-time population source. Apparently it needs two power, and so there's that. So we're going to need a better generator. What we're actually going to do, put this down here, store the little guy, and then connect the big guy to the circuit. Alright, now we just got to go in and set the parameters for this. Soda Fountain Experiment. We'll go with Generic Caffeination. Now, what else does this place in particular need right now? We only have one bed. So while Clem's got to do his hour of... We'll just put down a couple more beds. Well, apparently we really picked up a lot. I don't think they're going to get much privacy here, but... Eh, it's okay. For now. So we pretty much just have to let Clem do his thing. So while we're waiting on him to do that, let's scrap a few of the random pieces that are going around so we can eventually start making this place less horrendous. More gooder. I don't know which word I should be using here, but... Not the junk heap that it currently is. The one cool part about the whole Vault Tech Automatron DLC is that you get to build a whole bunch of the Vault parts. A 
it does go on for a fair bit, and there's a lot of cleanup that you got to do along the way. I don't want to remove the railings or anything down here, because we can eventually use this section. But for right now, we're going to stay over in this main little area. That was apparently an abandoned train station at some point. Like most of our settlements out in the real world, real world, above ground, not in the vault. It starts off as something with a lot of potential, but doesn't really have a lot of flair or decency to it. I mean, look at this place. It's good in the fact that it's open. Bits of it are all screwed up. You've got extension towers and everything going on. Vault never got finished. But the cool thing is that with a little bit of love, a little bit of luck, you can turn this place into something really, really cool. Because we have access to all of the vault pieces. What do I mean by that? Well, if we go into structures... And Clem has just finished this thing. There is an entire vault section. It gives you all of the different vault parts. So we were just cleaning up a little bit while we waited for Clem. Again, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I got a customer right here. Want some more refreshment? Ooh, what the heck's in there? I had a Nuka Cola once. This stuff. I know, right? It's got special chemicals in it. No shit. Well, whatever it is, call me a fan. Alright. So. Kathy. Well, it does improve productivity. Really? On to the next prototype. Ugh, an Hippocratic oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin text. But that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. That's because you're a monster. ...shouldn't put their patient's welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. I understand what you're saying, but I completely disagree. The oath is right. And I'm not just saying this because, well, it makes me seem like a moral good guy. My mother's a critical care RN. The Hippocratic Oath is sacred to nurses and doctors and is the right thing to do. The Hippocratic Oath is there for a reason. It's the right thing to do. Spare me conventional platitudes. We have history to make. So, enter the Vault Tech Foropter, a specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight, but potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material, but the results will be worth it. Where would we get enough nuclear material? going to get that much nuclear material. You're in luck. We chose this site for Vault 88 because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves. So, dig deep and get what we need. We already picked up a couple of the pieces of the uranium, so let's see if we actually have enough to build the Thoropter. And indeed, we do. So, what we're going to do here... Set the foropter down right there. Again, we're going to come back and clean this all up eventually. Now we have a small generator stored away. We're just going to put it down right here. And then over to the miscellaneous and get ourselves a control panel right next to it. And then spacebar to connect 
and spacebar to connect. Oh, it actually requires three power. Okay then, so we're going to store that and go back over to power and we'll drop down another generator. Eventually all this is going to go away and we're going to have one of the vault tech gens in here. Alright, oh, I guess we do have to connect these two and set the parameters for it. And we're just going to go with improved eye care because the Hippocratic Oath is awesome. Alright, let's talk to the Overseer and then Clem. Looks like we have our first. Before we begin, Clem, how do you feel about children? Uh, they're all right, I guess. You ever planning on having any? Uh, I don't know. Why are you asking? Just idle chatter. Go on. Hi, you here for an eye exam with the full... With this thing? I guess. Go ahead and get in. I really dislike the overseer. So, what do I do? Oops. Oops. Stay still. So I just sit here. Yeah, yeah. The machine will do the rest. This thing's creeping me out. All done. It says you got a uh, um, minor eye. Some eye drop will clear it up. Uh, thanks. And that's it? Nothing else? No, Lady Overseer. Exam's all done. I'll do well. Promise. <clears throat> I never had an eye exam before. Yeah, it wasn't so bad, I guess. Why are you doing this stuff, anyhow? Well, to benefit our society. These experimental devices could make life better for everyone. Huh. No shit. So I need eye drops, huh? Uh, right. After Clem going crazy on that damn power cycle, are you guys some sort of sickos? That's not what you think. It's not what you think. <laughs> you can't talk your way out of this, pal. At least up in the Commonwealth, everyone's up front about trying to kill you or rip you off. Come on, Clem. Let's leave. These guys are assholes. But I've got a job now. I'm an optim... I run the eye machine. I can't leave. Run while you can, Clem. Well, that didn't exactly go well. Of our residents left. Well, it'll be easy enough to replace her. The important thing is that our work is progressing admirably. Uh, more people will leave if we don't stick to being good. She could be the first of many to flee this vault. If it becomes too big a problem, vaults are designed to be closed, you know. Anyway, this last experiment is my pride and joy. Following in the footsteps of Dr. Braun and the others, I have spent my time devising my very own prototype. Its premise is this. We are all flawed creatures, each with our own vices. What if our vault didn't pointlessly try to stamp out these predilections and instead harness them? What vices exactly? What vices are you talking about? Well, greed, the schematic, is for a slot machine. I designed it to be as enticing as possible. Choose the experimental parameters and let's see how it fares in the field. Alright, so we gotta build a slot machine.
much power does a slot machine require? Just one. So we can use this small little little guy generator. Not have to build another big one. Alright, now we just gotta do the parameters for this one. Lost revenue. The slot machine is just the best. I tell everyone that. I just want to trade a few things. Alright, well we're gonna leave him to that. And yeah, we're gonna go clear out some more stuff. Time passes fairly quickly in the Goblin Wolf. That wasn't long enough on the V button, Dre. There you go. It is a lot of work to get the vault up and running, but once you do, it's not only one of the biggest plots out there, but it's one of the best places. You can entirely design the vault from the ground up. You can have either a big atrium or pretty much whatever you want. You can do it all with these individual pieces. So you get access to all of this. However, it's not exactly what we want, where we want it. So we're probably just going to scrap all this. Or just store it. In case we ever want to go to a dormitory. Or nursery in this case. And there's a random cone falling down. And this is where we had some problems with the mole rats earlier. But they give you a ton of resources just sitting around, mostly steel and concrete, which you will need to build up a bunch of other things in here. Most of the equipment that you can build is either steel or power or uh, concrete to start off with anyway. So they give you a fair amount of it just to build up your system, I guess. Of course, the more we clear out of here, the more wide open and accessible the entire place becomes. And we might even wander down and find our water area. Throw down a pump down there. We've been through this place a few times. There's some uranium. A bit more. Of course, the barrels. That's the nuclear material that we took out. However, Clem is done. So, back to Clem! Of course, I'm getting Warframe flashbacks. Every time I see Clem, I want to say, Gurgada! If you haven't played Warframe yet, to understand that, go play Warframe. It's a lot of fun! And Clem has Gurgadas. Because he is Clem. And they are Gracadas. Actually a weapon I don't really like in the game, but it's fun to say. It's kind of like Hakuna Makatata, only it's Gracadas. Hakuna Gracada? Hmm. Definitely wouldn't mean no worries. Thanks a lot for letting me try it. Lady over 
overseer? I'm so glad you're enjoying yourself. I'm happy with the results. I'm happy with how the machine turned out. You do realize the lost revenue parameter loses revenue, right? It's done. Finally. Hundreds of years of refining and planning. The results were mixed. But in science, you rarely wind up exactly where you expected. With my life's work done, I think I will deliver our schematics to other vaults to improve their lives. Uh, why don't, do we really want her to stay as overseer? Hmm. The vaults I know about have all failed. They're empty or worse. The world's a big place. And you should never underestimate. I pass the mantle on to you. Guide Vault 88 to greatness. You're the overseer now. All right, Legend of Vault 88 reduces damage from ghouls by 15%. So some Under Armour versus ghouls. And that completes the whole schism for Vault 88. Which means we can now tear this place apart and build up a new society underground. This would be great. This can be the start of a beautiful little vault. Hopefully one that isn't so hectic and scattered. But that's probably a good place to call it for this week, guys. Like I said, happy Canada Day to all the Canadians out there. And for our American friends, as of the time of release of this, you have to wait till tomorrow. But hopefully it goes well for you. And for everybody else in the world, whatever day you celebrate for the age of your country, or independence, or whatever it is, I hope it goes well for you. But anyway, guys, if you liked the video, please consider hitting that like button. If you'd like to join up with the 232, be part of our community, just hit that subscribe button, and make sure you have turned your notifications on so you don't miss when a new video goes out. And remember, guys, life is a game, so play to win. And until next time, take care.